Hi everyone, today we're talking about adjusting entries and more specifically we're talking about prepaid entries. And I'm your instructor Brandy. Very simply, a prepaid is something that you pay for in advance and then it gets used up either by time or by the fact you're actually using it. We could have prepaid rent where we pay for our rent in advance and then every month as we use the office or we use an apartment, our rent is no longer our asset. We can prepay for insurance and as the year goes by, our insurance gets used up and it's no longer our future benefit. Supplies are another kind of prepaid. And the reason supplies are considered prepaid is because when we buy pens, pencils, paper, things like that, and when we have those items, they have a future benefit to us. So they are an asset. As we use them up, they no longer have the future benefit as we toss them in the trash and then they become our expense. So all of the items in this category of prepaids start as an asset and as they're used up, they turn into an expense. So let's look at an example. So in our example, Megatron Company is paying for insurance for one year on September 1st, 2015 for $1,200. When Megatron Company purchases that insurance, our journal entry will be, our date is September 1st, 2015. We're going to debit prepaid insurance, the asset account for $1,200 and credit cash, how we're paying for this for $1,200. And our description will be to record payment of insurance. So now if you consider our T account for the prepaid insurance account, which is an asset account, we're going to have a $1,200 debit. Each month, $100, 1200 divided by 12, is used up of that insurance. So each month we're going to make a journal entry we're going to lower our prepaid insurance account by crediting it for $100 and we're going to move that amount to the expense account, insurance expense. And I'm just going to put the calculation of how we got this. We had $1,200 prepaid insurance divided by 12 months equals $100 per month. So every single month we are going to do a journal entry just like this. It's going to look exactly the same. So now if we look at our T accounts, we keep increasing insurance expense and decreasing prepaid insurance until the prepaid insurance balance is zero in the asset account and it's fully used up. We can do the same thing for supplies. So in this example, Megatron Company purchases $1,000 worth of office supplies on October 1st, 2015. When Megatron Company actually purchases the supplies on October 1st, our journal entry will be debit to office supplies for $1,000 and credit to cash for $1,000. At the end of the accounting period, let's pretend that's December 31st, someone will do a count of the office supplies and determine how much supplies we have left in our supplies cabinet. So on December 31st, someone does a count and it reveals that there's $200 worth of office supplies remaining in our supplies closet. So what we're going to do is set up our T account for the supplies account. And on October 1st, when we purchased these, we had $1,000 in our supplies account. And at your end, December 31st, we know that there is $200 left in our supplies account. Now what we're going to do is we need to solve this. We had 1,000 and we're left with 200. What adjustment do we need in order to bring 1,000 down to 200? We need to take away $800 worth of supplies and that is going to be our adjustment. This $800 of supplies goes to supplies expense. The supplies are used up so they no longer have a future benefit to us. So using that information, our journal entry is going to look like this. Supplies expense debit for $800 and supplies credit the asset for $800. And that's how you deal with prepaids. Thanks for watching everyone.